Okay, so it's 426. And uh, I'm starting to get cool, Julia. Yeah. Yeah, so put a sweater on. Put my sweater over there. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, so um, I'm just continuing watching the uh, home reno show with <laughs> the Scots. Forever home or something like that. Um, it's starting to uh, rain. It has been raining for uh, a few minutes. So I think the bad weather is coming. We might be getting snow tonight. Not looking forward to that, but whatever. At least I got my walk in. I got my good walk in. I walked all the way down and all the way over and all the way back and all the way back. So I did the the 4K only I didn't do it around. I went back and forth. So that works out because I I didn't feel like putting on my vest and, and being all day glow. So I didn't go along the highway. I went country road, country road. I went country road, country road. There we go. Julia, I just took country roads. I didn't take highway. Yes. And major country road, you know? So there's a lot of traffic on that road and a whole lot of traffic on that road. I just didn't do that. Okay? Don't dig your don't dig your nails into my jeans. They can't be holy. I do not like holy jeans are stupid. Like what the hell? Sorry. But duh. You can pay money for jeans with less material that covers me. I get cold. I wear clothing to cover myself. I see these people walking around with ripped jeans and their knees are like coming out. I mean, what the hell? How stupid is that? I mean, really? Where are your brains? I'm sorry, but I do not follow stupid fashion trends. And that's one I'm deaf. I didn't follow the one back when I was a teenager where everyone was wearing, you know, Okay, so maybe I'm tall and I don't want to be any taller, but I thought that was the stupidest fashion trend or everyone wore, you know, shoes on, you know, platform shoes. Like, that was so stupid. There were any number of fashion trends that I just thought were too stupid to follow and this is one. Holy jeans, holy dumb. So I don't, I'm not doing that. Anyway, um, because I, I don't like the cold. And uh, I gotta go find something. Here's Julia up on her. You gonna go up all the way, Julia? Oh, so, uh, another, well, something that you just, always have happened. There are always generational trends. Well, holy jeans is a generational trend, but you know, smart people don't follow that trend and my kids are smart and they never followed that trend. Thank goodness. But the one trend that they both followed was Pokemon. And uh, it just No, <laughs> you know, I love computers. I was in, I introduced my kids to computers. My husband introduced our kids to computers. Um, and thus they got into Pokemon and anime and all, well, I mean, lots of people get into anime without computers, but yeah, whatever. So they are into Pokemon and anime and all that stuff. And I never was. I 
some people of my generation did get into that, but pretty much not a whole lot. My Korean favorites. Oh, those are my favorite Korean students. Korean students were my favorite students. They really liked me. I really liked them. Back to the anime, um, to the Pokemon. So now my daughter is past that stuff, okay? She was in it. She's not in it anymore because she's got other interests. These two guys are both into that, very much so. And I really, I know that's the generational gap. And <laughs> there it is. I understand them and they can have their interests. I definitely do not understand that interest though. To be constantly watching cartoons just blows my mind. When I was a kid, Saturday morning cartoon, no problem. Read of it, and I no longer watch Saturday morning cartoons. They never grew out of it. They're constantly watching what I call cartoons. I mean, sure, they have some shows that they enjoy watching that are real life. We watch them together, but their overwhelming interest is that kind of stuff and I don't get it. I really don't get it. No problem. <laughs> they know my interests. Um, whatever. Thank goodness we have some interests that cross, so that's no problem. Definitely do not cross to Pokemon. <laughs> Actually, I uh, I knew someone whose husband was into Pokemon, and uh, that that um, the one that my son was into for a while, where you have to go to certain places and, and pick up certain things, and her husband was into that crazy to the point where it was taking over his life and it's like whoa nothing should take over your life to that extent but I don't remember who, who was that anyway who was that because I know he was downtown and he was picking up things there who was it that I knew had that interest Nobody that I know now, so I don't know who that was, but anyway, I knew someone whose life was pretty much ruined by that stuff, which is like crazy. How do you let anything take over your life to that extent? Yeah, I, I will not let anything take over my life to that extent. I am in control of my life. Not, I don't let the external world take over my life. I'm in control of my life, which is why I don't do I, I, I do not have an addictive, I told you that a few weeks ago. I do not have that kind of personality. Nope. I'm sure I'm addicted to things, but I don't let them take over my life. Oh, there's my family. That was my family. Thank goodness I have a good family. And we're getting into Christmas, but I don't do Christmas before December 1st, okay? So everything is ready. We'll get put into motion. I will decorate December 1st, not before. <laughs> Upstairs, they've got a Christmas tree up. Now, I understand putting your lights up. Of course, put your lights up, but I, won't, I, won't, I wouldn't turn them on before December 1st. No problem. I love looking at lights, so 
but um, I will not put up my Christmas theme until December 1st. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not that into things that I will let them take over my life. That's just me.